So let's go ahead and create a script for bazooka. Right here in the scripts folder, go inside rifles. And then in here, create a script by the name of bazooka. After this, click on bazooka. Drag and drop the script. Now let's open this up. Right here, remove the start and update function. Then from the shotgun script, let's copy all of the variables awake update function then the player move and all of the functions actually so copy them then get back to bazooka right here paste it then if we scroll up all of the values will be same to the shotgun but right here bazooka will give damage of 120 because it will be the most powerful weapon then the shooting range will be 100 the fire charge of the bazooka will be one then we have the ammunition and reloading variables it will also be the same for the bazooka and all of the other things as well so now if we save the script get back to unity right here now we have all of the variables okay the whole script right here now it needs the character controller so drag and drop the player then it needs the animator so drag and drop the player then it needs the camera so here is the camera then the surface check here is the surface check then it needs the surface layer mask then it needs the main camera again then the hand which will be the rifle holder then player transform so drag and drop the player then it needs the mother spark metal effect and the ammo out effect ammo out ui actually so let's drag and drop the ammo out canvas and now it needs the mother spark and the metal effect so for the mother spark we will add the same one as we did for the UZ and all of the other things. So let me just duplicate this uh, UZ mother spark and drag and drop this inside the rocket or bazooka if you say. And now if you try to play it, as you can see, there it is playing. Okay, we want this to be played right here. Okay, let me check it. Okay, let's move it down. I think it looks good right there. Okay, if you click on rocket, delete the rocket. Click on mother spark and we will move this a little bit upwards. Okay, now if you check it out, as you can see, it looks good right there. Okay, so I think this will be a really good place for the mother spark. Now click on bazooka, drag and drop this. Now it needs the metal effect, which will be basically some other effect because we don't want the bazooka to play the metal effect because that will not be accurate for the bazooka okay we need some big blast so if we go inside jmo asset war effects then effects then let's go inside explosions and as you can see if you double click on it you can see different kinds of explosions okay we need some bigger explosion For example, let's try this one. So if we click on bazooka, let's try and drop this one in there. Okay, let's save it and now let's go ahead and test it out. But actually, if I show you the animator, for now we don't have any animation for the bazooka, but don't worry, we will be 
adding the animation in the next video for now let's just test it out and see how does it looks okay don't mind the animations let's now test the bazooka okay if we now hit this as you can see it plays the hit effect or you can say metal effect let's actually change the name from metal effect to Let's change all of the occurrence as you can see. Let's change this to hit effect. Okay, hit effect and hit effect go. That's it. If you check it out again, there it is. Okay, now let's try and drop it again. Now let's play the game. Okay, now let's try to hit it again. Okay, there it is. Let's hit it. And as you can see, it shows the effect really beautifully. So now we have the bazooka working perfectly fine. Now in the next video, we will add the animations so let's end this one right here